What's up? Welcome to Back End Stuff. I'm Jacob Blitzo. Today we are tackling the last of our CRUD functions in accounts.ex, the context file, the delete function. As you know, this file includes the key operations, create, read, update, and delete. Through our previous lessons, we've built and used a factory to consistently generate the data that we need for our tests. And we'll continue to use this valuable tool in today's video. Remember whether it's valid or invalid data, both are essential when working with database tables. As our applications evolve and grow, the convenience of having a single source of setup data becomes increasingly evident. It simplifies our testing process, and when changes to a schema definition are required, this is typically the only place we need to adjust. Building on our previous videos, we'll continue to use our existing factory and the Ex Machina library. Ex Machina is an excellent tool for creating test data and associations, and it works hand in hand with Ecto. So let's dive in our final video and learn how to effectively test the delete function in our context file. Let's open up the real deal API project. And if you haven't been following along, you can find the GitHub repo in the description below. And we'll open up our accounts underscore test.exs file. And we are going to be creating a new describe block underneath the update block. And let's jump over to our accounts context file. And we'll look at the function. So we're just going to be writing a test for our delete account function here, arity one. So it just takes one parameter and that's an account object. Let's write a test for this. So underneath our update describe block, we will create another describe block and this will be called delete underscore account arity one. And then do an end. And we just have one test to write today. So it's going to be test and we're looking for a success and it deletes the account do and then end. So what we need is just like in our prior videos, we just need to insert an account and we'll create a variable called account and we'll use our factory to insert it. So factory dot insert and then colon account and colon account this Adam calls our account underscore factory function, which returns an account struct. And that's inserted directly into our database. And now we can do an assert and the delete function will return a tuple with an okay. And then our deleted account, which we don't need reference to. So we'll put an underscore in front of it. So deleted account and then close off those curly braces. And now we just call our context file accounts dot and then delete account. And we pass in the account we just inserted into the database. There we go. And so as long as this properly deletes, we'll get the tuple with the okay atom and that assert test will pass with true. And now we want to use refute, which if you remember, it will pass if it's false and we are going to use repo.git and then we want to pass in, we want our account schema and then our account we just created, we need to pass in the ID. And so this is going to fail. So that means the refute will be a passing test because this account object is no longer in our table. So let's save that and now let's pull up our terminal um, CD into our project. Mine's in documents, develop BS real deal API. And let's just go ahead and make sure our Docker container is running. Mine is, if yours is not start it. And then let's just do a mixed test. And there we go. Our 16th test just passed. That was pretty easy. I think that was the easiest test that we wrote. For your challenge, I'd like you to create a test for the user's context file for the delete arity one function using what you learned today. We just learned how to delete data from a database and then verify that it is in fact removed from the database. This might be the quickest video I've ever done. Um, as always, if you need help or want to check out the solutions 
That GitHub link is in the description below. And if you have more questions or just want to hang out and chat, join my Discord server backend stuff. That link is in the description as well. If you want to learn how to build scalable production-ready APIs, hit that subscribe button now. See you next time.